What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and we are talking about the Druid function. So what is the Druid function? The Druid function is something in your flows that you can use to generate a Druid. So what is a Druid? Uh, I may hear you cry. A Druid is a unique identifier, so a unique record identifier for instance. Nearly all systems that you probably deal with on a day-to-day basis, so say if that's you know Dynamics or some other like application, if it writes to a database it's more than likely going to have a specific GUID that is unique to that record, meaning that if you want to query it somehow either via reporting or you know SQL or API or something like that, it will always return that unique single record. Now, why does Power Automate have this function? It has this function because you may want to specify a GUID when you are creating certain records. So say if you have a, you're writing to an Excel spreadsheet, everyone loves, it, loves Excel, you may want in your flow to um, create a GUID uh, record, a GUID sort of column um, and row, so that when you're writing new data in, it always has a unique identifier, then maybe later on you can look up and update records by that unique identifier. So let's take a look at this now and show you how it works. So I'm in Power Automate. I have my flow here, which is just a manual trigger flow. I'm going to add a new step and I'm going to add a compose action. It's one of my favorite actions. So in here, in the inputs, we're going to go over to expressions. We're going to expand string functions. And then there is one here called druid. Now it says it generates a globally unique identif unique string druid. So if I just click it and click OK, that's all I need. So now when I run this flow, all it will do is it will create me a druid. Click run, compose here, and here we have our unique druid. So that's really good because I want a specific unique druid for my records. So let's make sure that's not just a fluke. So if I click edit again, and if I click test again, and I uh, save and run the test, and click done, it's now generated as a completely different druid. So every time this runs, it will generate a new druid. So you can rest assured that you will get a unique druid for every time your flow runs in Power Automate, which you can then use to create um, sort of a semi database or you know a list of records with a specific druid. Or maybe you need to pass this into some other system. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you actually knew about? When I saw it for the first time in Power Automate, I was like, huh. I wasn't expecting to see it there, but it makes a lot of sense to have it. So it kind of surprised me and it may surprise others. So did you know this was there? If you if you did, what do you use it for? Uh, let me know in the comments down below or send me a message on Twitter or on LinkedIn. I'd really like to know um, how you're using this function um, and this expression in your flows. Uh, as always, if you could like and subscribe and share all my videos, that's much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.